So now we want to continue today's lecture by looking at the concept of stock versus flow. We claim that a stock is a quantity measured at a point in time. So it means it is about how much is accumulated by certain time. For example, we said that the US capital stock is 56 trillion. It is a stock concept. So then what is the flow concept? A flow concept is about a quantity measured per unit of time. So it is about how much is accumulated during some specific period of time. For example, we say that the US investment last year, for example, 4 trillion. Then we know that the concept of the stock and flow are different. So now let me illustrate this concept in a simple graph. So in here, we have a faucet that is fastened on the wall and we have a bath top. And then we start to put some water into the bath top. So then some water getting into the bath top. So then by 3.30, this is the amount of the water that we have accumulated in the bath top. And then by 3.40, we have this amount of water accumulated in the bath top. So we call that the water flowing into the bathtub is called a flow. At specific period of time, how much water is flowing into the bathtub? For example, one liter in one minute. And the stock concept is the amount of the water that has been accumulated by certain time. For example, in here we say that by 340, the water that is accumulated in the bathtub is about this level in here. So this is the difference between the flow and the stock. The stock is about the quantity measured at a point in time. We talk about how much has been accumulated. For the concept of flow, is about a quantity that measure per unit of time. It is about how much is added. So this is the discussion related to the concept of stock versus flow.